communication satellites for broadcasting TV stations orbit the Earth in a geosynchronous orbit. The signal is beamed down to Earth and covers a particular area. This area is called the satellite footprint. The size of the footprint is determined by the wavelength of the microwave and the diameter of the dish on the satellite. When signals of typical frequency 4 to 20 gigahertz are sent to Earth, the satellite produces a diffraction pattern. The angle made by the central maxima determines the area of the footprint. The radius of the footprint is called the half beam width. If we know the height of the satellite, the half beam width can be found using trigonometry and the angle found from this formula. Signals need to be sent from Earth to the satellite before getting beamed back to our houses. If a small transmitter dish is used, the signal is spread out. Hence, we end up with a low intensity beam at the satellite. Hence, we need to use large transmitter dishes to focus the beam onto a smaller area, therefore improve the intensity at the satellite. Here we can see small dishes produce a low intensity, less focus light, whereas larger dishes increase the intensity of the beam. The Astra satellite system uses a stacked arrangement of satellites at different heights. Each satellite produces different footprints of different intensities. This means we only need small satellite dishes in the UK, but larger dishes further out into Europe. The intensity of the beam is dependent on the height above the Earth. If the height is doubled, the intensity goes down by a factor of 4. If it is trebled, it goes down by a factor of 9, or 3 squared. If it's 4 times bigger, it goes down by a massive factor of 16, or 4 squared.